In today's video, we'll be going over some LEGO Star Wars one-star reviews on the internet. So welcome back everyone to another Life Brick Studios video. My name is Tyler. In today's video, we'll be going over some one-star uh, LEGO Star Wars reviews on the internet uh, between LEGO.com, Amazon, Walmart, uh, Target, and a few other ones. Uh, yeah, these are pretty much all ones that are just one-star reviews that just genuinely don't make any sense or are just very funny, I feel. Uh, definitely lost a couple brain cells as I was going through uh, reviews. There's quite a few people uh, that I just feel like don't understand what they're talking about and don't know what they're talking about. And also one thing I guess to throw in here, I never realized how many people actually are concerned about the box condition of your set. So I know a lot of people do get hate. Like I've gotten hate before. I know Ryan has gotten hate before you know, for caring about uh, you know, the condition, condition of a box you know, being sent to them from the Lego store or you know, Target, Walmart, and stuff like that. And I'm not even kidding. I probably went through about 200 reviews and you know, probably about 150 of them were genuinely just people saying that the box came in damage. So there's definitely a reason why people are not uh, satisfied with that, but let's get into the funny ones, guys. So starting off, guys, with uh, Gabe, this is actually on the uh, Mandalorian Brickhead uh, right here. He says, uh, one star for uh, easy to assemble. I'm sure the Lego themselves are easy to assemble. However, the box being so severely damaged does not make it easy to open. Uh, not too sure what that means, man. I would assume if the box is damaged, it would make it even easier to open since it's already being crushed and stuff it probably is already partially open so uh, there's that then he also says a one star for giftable how do you expect me to give anyone a gift that looks like randy johnson of the arizona diamondbacks threw this at my door as hard as he could and then kicked it so uh again I i'm not too sure but i agree i mean i think uh you know if that happened to my box i would agree i would not really like it but uh just found that pretty funny right there then also one star for value for money i guess give it two stars but seriously if it's packaged in a box put in a box uh, with padding or just pay your employees enough that might do it so uh, overall Gabe very nice review man uh, you know shout out to you for getting on the list and let's move on to the next one Moving on, guys we have uh, Cody right here uh, actually reviewing the uh, Darth Vader castle he says a uh, one star uh, why uh, who who the F would pay $129.99 a Legos the size of a lunchbox Star Wars is worth what it used to be uh, yeah so I'm not too sure what that last part meant man I'm pretty sure you got to check a little bit of your grammar but uh, last time I checked man the, the Vader's castle I don't have it in person but uh, just I think there's even dimensions on the back side of the box man I'm pretty sure it's bigger than a lunchbox but uh, nonetheless very funny and congratulations for uh, getting in the video uh, next up guys we got a star warrior that just uh, says one star nope uh, and then also just nope so uh, yeah he must not like what he bought then we've got uh, Vanessa right here, and she says, uh, toss it and keep the minifigure. So, uh, yeah, I believe this actually has to do with the ATST Raider right here, uh, which I pulled out for this clip, since the, the review uh, will say something pretty funny. Uh, he's, or she says, uh, worst Lego ever. I wouldn't say I'm a Lego master, but I've done some pretty uh, considerably large size builds. Cinderella's Castle, Stranger Things, Upside Down, etc. I thought this would be uh, fairly easy to assemble and to do with her five-year-old. Uh, she's like, wrong. Uh, the pieces and the instructions were hard to connect and hard to understand. I don't know if it's because some of the success with the Mandalorian they rushed to get the set out and uh you know what it is it, it, you know, put it out that's garbage so uh, then she also says my five-year-old said it best we can we toss it and keep the minifigures uh yeah I'm not too sure what you mean man uh, definitely keep that Cara Dune though and uh see what you can do I think you should maybe reassemble it I personally thought it was pretty easy um it's just a regular ETST you know nothing wrong with it but uh yeah nonetheless congratulations so we've got coming from just some random fellow on uh, Amazon for the uh the Grogu uh buildable statue uh one star his name is Grogu not the child uh recommend to not buy uh interactive his name is Grogu so uh, don't buy that set the name is inaccurate so the, the character itself is inaccurate so I also don't recommend buying it uh, you know um, I agree with this guy uh, yeah so that's that's another ridiculous one man uh, it's just hilarious but uh, yeah let's get on to the next one Moving on, guys, to the Grievous Starfighter right here, the, uh, the, the best value set of the world, right? Uh, the True Dragon Heart says, uh, one star, sad day for anyone. Uh, this is an amazing set, except for uh, oh, the Obi-Wan figure is uh, wrong and the price is way too high. Both those I agree with, and then he also says this is a $30 uh, set at most. I feel like Lego has given up. I also feel like that, but I genuinely don't feel like a $30 set uh, would you know be what it's worth. I think I've said before, you know, 60 bucks as is would be awesome, or if they kept it 80 bucks and put Cody in there. I think either way, that's kind of my opinion on it, but nonetheless, a uh, pretty funny review right there. Uh, then we've got uh, Jorge Perez Jr. Uh, says, one star, received a different set. Uh, then he still goes on to review uh, the set that he did not get uh, with a one star and then just fix it or try to fix the problem. He said, I ended up receiving a different set instead of the ATAT 75288. Uh, not happy with the purchase. I think you could have done a little bit more uh, before you left the one star, but uh, up to you, man. All your choice. And uh, Then we got uh, Gopher T right here. And I, I believe this is actually about the, the 20th anniversary Slave 1. Uh, one star inflation at its best. Uh, wow, just wait 
until Walmart gets back in stock and pay almost half the price. So, so basically with that one, uh, just don't don't pay the scalper price then. Don't pay, I mean, if it's a $120 set, don't pay 300 bucks for it. I mean, unless it's retired, don't buy that. And also don't buy it on Walmart at that point. Buy it on BrickLick or eBay. I know not the average consumer knows that, but at the end of the day, what are you reviewing? I mean, I mean, did you buy it at that price? How are you even reviewing it? I mean, if you knew that it was overpriced, why would you buy it? That doesn't make much sense, but uh, actually one that uh, is kind of the same thing. We got Daniel right here says a uh, one star, not a good price. Uh, this is actually for the uh, Mos Eisley Cantina, I believe. And uh, pretty much right here, uh, this is a good Lego set, one of the best I ever had, but don't buy this here. You can go to the Lego store and get it cheaper. Uh, this set cost me about $500, but it would have cost me about, around $360 at the Lego store. Uh, trust me, don't buy this. So uh, why'd you buy it, man? <laughs> that's, that's just kind of my thing. Why'd you buy it? If you knew you could get it for $140 cheaper, I mean, even if your Lego store is 30 minutes away, that's definitely worth the gas money right there, I'd say. So uh, another example, why'd you buy it, man? Why'd you give it a one star? Why'd you buy it? Doesn't make much sense to me, but let's move on to the next one. Next up, guys, we got Adam with a very simple review. Uh, one star, decent price, but the big problem here was that the Lego set was shipped very quickly. You know, way too, you know, way too quickly for him. He, he wanted to wait a couple weeks. I know he did. So uh, the fact he got there in a couple days, probably used Amazon Prime right there. You know, got it in two days. Uh, you know, that's definitely a big one star in everyone's book, I feel. This is actually one of my favorites one here. This is actually kind of the first one I saw that genuinely made me want to make this video. Uh, one star for the AAT on Am or on Walmart. Uh, we got from Kayla. Uh, paint is coming off. Uh, last time I checked, I don't think uh, there's any paint on any sort of Lego, but uh, she says all the paint is coming off of Ahsoka and my son's hands and face are covered in it and it won't come off. Uh, seriously disappointed in the quality. I'm not too sure what you're getting at there. I even posted on my Instagram. That's not how Lego works, uh, ma'am, but uh, either way, very funny. Let's get on to the next one. Also an AAT review on walmart we've got the overrated one star uh just i'll kind of sum it up here no one's buying it for the aat everyone's just getting the 332nd and the ahsoka if it didn't have those no one would buy it a very dis a disappointing set uh for the separatists so i agree with that just very funny that you know other people you know the natural consumer do it you know does agree so uh there's that we've got the 501st battle pack on target uh you know just some random guys that stop selling them out one star a great set i just think the way people are selling them out so fast and there's really no stock is pretty annoying so uh, how'd you buy it how'd you leave a review why did you leave a review and uh, again i don't i don't i don't understand how that warrants a one star at the end of the day i don't know but uh, that's just me Moving on, guys, to the last few here. We've got uh, just a one star right here. Uh, this set is trash. The stickers don't stay, and the parts fall off. Save your money. That was, all, that was also for the 501st Battle Pack on Target. Uh, I guess you just got to build a better, man. Uh, also for the 501st Battle Pack, uh, the same thing. One star, don't buy it. The set falls apart easily. Don't buy it. Then another review, which actually this is the reason why I did take this set out, was uh, this Lego set sucks. The ATSD won't even stand. It just keeps falling down. I've adjusted the legs so many times, but every time it keeps falling down, I would not recommend. One star, very bad Lego set. We've got someone right here with a one star uh, from uh, Wow with uh, four W's. Pretty much just roasting the new, uh, you know, Tatooine uh, Mandalorian set. Pretty much saying it's a poor set, you know, by the, the Lego and the designers. Uh, it's not accurate, and out of all all of season two, we get a half baked design and uh, this set. So I agree. I definitely I think we could have got something a little bit better, but uh, nonetheless, one star review and uh, very funny. And then another example, we got the average consumer right here saying why Lego why with a one star review. Pretty much just roasting them for making another Microfighter Millennium falcon over all these years and i agree so i want to thank you guys all for watching this video like i said this is actually pretty funny to make it took a little bit to actually get all these reviews uh, around and kind of you know get them up and, and you know, make sure they were funny and not just you know an actual you know one star review uh, surprisingly on amazon a lot of people are saying they get you know sent fake lego all the time and missing pieces and you know, already open boxes open bags but i've never experienced that i mean I i'd assume you know some of those have to be real at the end of the day i mean there was a lot of them like i said damaged boxes and missing pieces there's a whole bunch of those one star reviews on amazon but I try to pick out some of the funniest ones. I plan on making a part two at some point and uh, genuinely deep diving into like every site and really trying to find like the actual, just like most random uh, funny ones and making maybe a part two to this series in a couple months. But uh, for now, I feel like these were all kind of funny. I wanted to get this kind of content out. I kind of wanted to even look at these for myself and let alone share, uh, share them with you. So that's pretty much all guys. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Please want to comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more to you guys later. Bye guys. Stay safe.